You know what's fun? As I've been uh, doing this pre-production work for, you know, the time when I'll be on vacation, so I need to build a bigger backlog and uh, pre-produce a bunch of videos over the course of a week, there's this new workflow I've been in now where I do, like, a couple more videos a day. I just, you know, bulk record a little bit more than... Usually, like, usually the way I would do it is I'd be recording a run in the evening, and then the next day, the next afternoon after that, I would rec I would edit that, upload it, and get everything ready, and then, you know, later that evening, edit, uh, record the next one for the next day after that. So, this, this, this changed workflow now is that I just record a couple of runs in bulk and then edit a couple of runs in bulk, and I'm realizing that maybe I should just do that all the time. <laughs> like, maybe instead of having to make like, play the game every day and record every day and edit every day, what if I just did that even with my normal backlog, right? Obviously, I'm not always gonna have a two-week-long backlog in the future. I'm still gonna have, like, the two days or whatever. But what if I could just, like, record a bunch of videos in bulk and edit them and then, you know, have, like, a few days off a week so I don't actually have to do any work? I mean, calling whatever we're doing on this channel work is kind of rich, right? Because... Realistically, all I'm doing is I'm playing a video game, I'm talking about whatever random shit goes through my head, and then occasionally making a funny noise when I get a good item. <laughs> like, that's that's all I'm doing, right? And then even the editing work is so unbelievably minuscule and unimportant, like... Who cares, right? Especially now with the pre-production work and having to do two videos a day, like... The amount of editing I've actually been doing is... None. It's, n like, very low. I kinda want that stopwatch, that's the only thing I really want out of that shop, though. Tiny Planet, miss me with that shit, don't care, don't give a damn. Um, and obviously Dark Bomb does nothing for me, because I can't get Red Hearts to even drop in the first place. I can't even get any of the other payouts that I would get out of them. So unfortunately, it looks like this first shop has been a bit of a bust on this floor. That being said, though, I did get Small Rock, which is pretty damn good. So, I think I'll be okay, <laughs> either way. By the way! Yeah, hope you're having a good day. I think this- I think I'm still somehow keeping track of it. This goes up like 2nd of September or some shit, right? Happy September. Or something. Yikes, give me some money, dude. Let's go. Oh my god, that creep slows you down so much. I never knew it slows you down that much. I mean, I'm already slowed down a bit from Small Rock, but holy shit. The slowdown on that white creep was crazy, man. Man, you dropped like no money. The hell was that about? Man, not even the boss item was anything noteworthy. I- I'm just leaving, I guess. I was just- Okay. I'm just out. <laughs> sure. Curse of the blind? What the hell, man? What's a man supposed to do? I'm trying to get items here, man. I'm trying to... I'm trying to cook. I'm trying to have something happen. This is just another floor for nothing. I mean, I get, I'll get i get a ton of money, so I'll probably just buy random shit from the shop anyway, if I have the money for it. But, like, what if it's a bad item that I don't want, right? Is that a risk I am willing to take? Am I desperate enough for items? I mean, I kind of am. I, I don't know if you've seen the right side of my screen. It's looking a bit barren right now. There's a, well, a small little rock there, and that's it. So maybe it would be for the best to just take some random blind items and live with it. There's my shop. Well, now I have to make up my mind. Will I actually go in here and buy a bunch of random shit? Ow. Don't do that to me. Very rude, stupid firefly motherfucker. Wow, there's a there's a lot of shit in here, huh? Fuck it. Huge and eh, decent. I kind of remember what it does. It resorts rooms. Pretty good. Okay, you know what? This was actually a very decent haul for a shop. What's this card? Two hearts. Okay, funny. <laughs> that was good. I am not mad. Give me that. Huge. And we restored it. They don't get their buckets back, which is pretty good. Oh man, I fucked up getting the extra coins though. I read it the room for extra coins, and then I grabbed none of them. <laughs> I was too busy dodging. Oh well, I mean it was a bonus at the end of the day, so missing out on a bonus isn't like all that of a problem, right? Like missing out on something that you were supposed to get that was mandatory, that sucks. Missing out on a bonus that you could have had, but like, you know, that was like an extra. Who cares? Extra, extra. Now I'm thinking of like a fucking 1910s newsboy. Like, like, you know, was that actually a thing? It must have been, right? Like, it's just like little, little kids, like 12 year old boys or whatever, working for newspaper companies. I guess you call them, uh, journalists. <laughs> well, well, actually, no, what? News? What? Uh, wait, what is a newspaper company? A, a media outlet? What was that called? What, what's the name for that? Just a, a journalism house or something? Anyway, you know, they would like be in the street and like scream like extra extra and then try to get you to buy like the news newspaper. God damn it, another HP up. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Can I restart this room? 
And get another room reward? No, okay. <laughs> Worth trying, I guess. I'm out of here, bro. Screw this place. We should bring that back. We should bring back shoe shiners. Uh, let's just ignore the fact that almost nobody wears shoes that have to be shined nowadays. Uh, like, you know, made of leather and stuff like that. I, I know leather shoes are still a thing, it's just that most people don't wear them anymore. Most people just wear sneakers, myself included. Also, if you're one of those insane people that buys sneakers and then gets upset, I'm gonna try to see somebody else have like an expensive pair of shoes, like sneakers, and then gets upset if they crease them or, you know, uh, like, uh, get them a little dirty or something like that. You are insane. Ah, bro, it hurts the resale value. So what? It's their shoes. They can do whatever the fuck they want with them, you know? Man, these shops have been tremendous. I'll take Deep Pockets and, uh, this straight off the bat. Deep Pockets will basically pay for itself within, uh, approximately five rooms, I think. And then, after that, I would love that mulligan. I would love... Dry baby as well. I don't think I want adoption papers. I don't think I want to replace every single item in a shop with with uh, familiars. I think that's not that good of an idea. Restart the room. I forgot they spawned in the center of the fucking room. I'm so bad. I'm so trash. Oh my god. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Please. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I've been playing poorly, but that's par for the course. That's what you've come to the channel for, I think. Yikes. Oh my god, dude. What am I doing? What am I doing? What are these schmoofs? Rainmaker, I got horrendous news for you, brother. You are not long for this world. You're not gonna make it. You also dropped me four cents and another fucking HP upgrade. I'm mad. I'm a little upset. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a little upset about that. Come on, man. Come on. I know I'm asking for a lot, game. I'm asking for this. I'm asking for that. I always want more. I always want more. A speed upgrade would really hit the spot. I'm just saying, like, getting some gosh darn speed would make collecting all this money so much easier. <laughs> Although, apparently, I guess if you redo the room right away, they- you, I think you have to, like, leave and re-enter for them to, like, drop more money, I think. But, like, redoing the room straight away kind of, like, cancels some of the money drops for some reason. Because there's, like, a limit to how much money you can get from a single room, right? Like, eventually enemies- oh, that's nice. Like, we'll just drop- less money or like won't be guaranteed to drop money and stuff like that like summoned enemies tend to not always drop money and stuff like that so maybe that's what's at hand here well he's fucking dead a range up you know what honestly fucking yeah i could use it if i redo this room now now that i've left and re-entered now man they're still not guaranteed to drop money what the hell the d7 is already not that good <laughs> why, why nerf it why nerf it like what the fuck it's already not great an arcade, huh? It's useless to me. Lovely. I'm surprised I've actually been getting some use out of the D7. I'll be honest. Who would have thought that just a week ago I didn't even know what the fuck this thing does? And all of a sudden, here I am, actually getting some damn use out of it. That's a sticky nickel, that's annoying. That's another sticky nickel, are you fucking for real? Are you, like, are, what? <laughs> what the hell? Show me my shop, please. And also a planetarium would be awesome if you could spawn it, like, at any point in the near future. But I guess I'll wait. Ooh, a dime for my troubles. But I don't have the minecarts anymore. Yeah, okay, so apparently the the type of coin that enemies drop is actually seated, though. When you, like, redo the room and stuff, that's cool. Wow, what a room. Holy shit. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. Is this... This is friend zone. Okay, don't care. I'll take that though. And I'll take this for the temporary damage. I have money for days, so why wouldn't I, right? I can literally afford everything. It's a Gideon fight, so you know I'm popping the strength. Get even more damage out of that damn red stew. Nothing shall be able to oppose me anymore. Everyone shall before me. Shall before shall fall before me. Look, I was trying to be epic and now I kinda of fumbled on my words. I hate having like a slow brain. Or a slow No, it's usually a slow brain. My mouth moves faster than my brain does most of the time. And then sometimes it's the other way around, my brain moves faster and then I kind of just stumble, like I have words being formed in my brain too quickly. Okay, I mean, out of these I guess I'll take. Honestly, I kind of want Eden Soul, dude. Am I crazy? Nah, I should take Revelation, right? Surely I should just take Revelation. If I was a non-Keeper character, I would be pogging about that wafer, obviously. But I think I should take Revelation here. It's just the smartest choice. Okay, next floor guaranteed. Guaranteeing it right now, I'm gonna get a planetary on this floor. It's an 80% chance. It's gotta happen. Curse of the blind, really? On the floor where I'm likely- Okay, don't give me the planetarium this floor, please. I got curse of the blind. <laughs> or give me a black candle in the shop. God damn it! Okay, well, there's no actively bad planetarium items except maybe Jupiter. So it's like a, what, a 1 in 12? Yeah, Pluto's fine. 
That's nice. Okay, I can go in here now at least and take the right item. Okay, left would have been fine, but also a massive tears down. So actually, I'm glad I took the right item. As much as quad shot is amazing, I think I actually made the right choice by taking the right item. I would have probably still taken SMB Super Fan if I had known that it was that. Oh yeah, I'm explosion immune! <laughs> That's true, I'm explosion immune. I don't have to worry about explosions at all. Should re really charge this beam up though. It does kind of do like a lot of damage. I want to tell I got terrible news for you. It's a horrible day to be an op. And by an op, I mean to be Hornfell. More HP upgrades. Great. Absolutely wonderful news. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is... Like, I, I think out of like the, the, the five bosses I've had so far, I think four of them have dropped an HP upgrade. This... It's a bit rude. Also, two of them have been on blind fucking floors, which is the next problem. <laughs> so I was forced to take two of them instead of saving those 15 cents for something a little bit more exciting and useful. Like, I don't know, my shop, you know? Ah, surely one day. I, 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 you know what I'll be mad at? If I go to my shop now and it has a uh, black candle in it. Only three items. Well, that's only three items to buy. Boom. Tears up is huge. Car battery is whatever. Hemolacria is incredible? <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, this was quite a floor. This was this was one of the floors ever, actually. Holy crap. It's, uh, everything's going beautifully. Curse of the Labyrinth, an XL floor, huh? A bit annoying, but at the very least, I don't think I'll be missing out on much because of this. And I'll be going a bit quicker. Although this will be a very large, very annoying to clear floor. What do you got for me? Give me the mystery item. Okay, bombs are cool. I got money for days. There's my other secret room. Uh, my secret room, I mean item room. Also my shop, which has incredible stuff. Across the board, once more, being granted some of the best shit in the game. I need to keep Mother's Kiss. It's an extra HP. It's so good. But Counterfeit Penny is also an incredible trinket. It is... Matter of fact, it's the main reason I was getting so much money to begin with. Rubber Cement! Uh, hello there! Okay, yeah. This run is going places. I like it. <laughs> I like it. My <laughs> my tri baby is about three times my size. <laughs> Don't talk to me or my son ever again, except my son is, well, significantly larger. He's of prodigious size, I guess. I don't know, I've been liking that word a lot lately. I've, I've noticed, I've been saying the word prodigious a lot in these videos lately. Because uh, I think the only person out there that listens to me the most is me. No matter how many times you watch my videos, I'll always have listened to myself first. Which is a weird way of phrasing it, but you know what I mean. A dice room as well. What the heck? I mean, I'll check what it is. A four. Oh, I mean, wish I'd known about it sooner, but... I'll, I'll try to make use of this at least. Kill the first boss, you know, see what we have there, all that stuff. I don't think I left much behind in terms of the shop downstairs or something like that, but again, this is a large-ass floor. I guess I'll be doing a ton of backtracking. Regardless of the outcome. Anyway, you know something that, like... Kind of pisses me off sometimes. Oh yeah, I forgot I had revelation. <laughs> you know that pisses me off sometimes when it comes to just the, the nature of the international world and stuff like that. It sucks that a lot of stores online that sell merchandise for like, say, games or stuff like that are like based in the US or North America, which basically means that whenever you try to order anything from those stores, it is absurdly expensive to get it shipped to anywhere else in the world. Being from Europe and wanting to have merchandise from games, like be it clothes or whatever, just because just it'd be cool to have, right? Like I love having like novelty t-shirts sometimes, is such a hassle, it's such a pain. Like I bought a couple of Monster Cat pieces of merchandise once, like I got a hoodie and I got a, a shirt and stuff, just because I like Monster Cat, like I like the music and I was like, you know what? They give you a discount if you like use their, their licensing service, so like, I, I got like a hoodie, a shirt, and a, a hat, I think, for like, I think the total of that amounted to like 80 bucks. Which is, you know, that's a decent value for like those three things, they were pretty high quality, I still wear them to this day, uh, very often. Very comfortable clothes. The shipping of that $80 order was like an extra 30 on top, which 
When you're ordering something that's $80, it's like, okay, like, this is kind of expensive shipping, but I get it, it's international and stuff like that. It's whatever, right? That's, that's fair. It's it's a fair shipment. I, I wouldn't necessarily be too upset about it, considering it was a, a decently sized order, at least. Like, it's not like I ordered something extremely cheap and it cost that much, right? And, you know, it, it's, it, it is international shipping at the end of the day. So it also took a long time to arrive, which is the next problem. The funniest thing as well was... When it arrived, because it came internationally, and it was purchased internationally, guess who had to fucking pay import taxes on that shit? I had to pay import taxes on a fucking hoodie and a t-shirt. You know how fucking insane that is? That shit was like, it was like left at the toll office, so I had to drive to the toll office, which was like a 30 minute drive, just so I could pay the fucking import taxes on it. This was years ago, mind you, so like, you know, like, nowadays I'm pretty sure they just make you pay that shit at the door, like the postman makes you pay it or whatever. And you have to pay extra taxes on it, which is fucking insane to me, by the way, I just... I mean, I get why, but like, it's so stupid for stuff like clothing, man. Like, for clothing, it doesn't make any sense. Like, for some stuff, I understand why there's import taxes on, like, a car. Or something like that, or like, like stuff that you could buy locally because they want you to buy the local shit. They don't want you to buy the international chip uh, stuff for cheaper, so that's why you pay taxes on the imported stuff, so it comes out to about the same amount of money paid. I get that! The clothing you can only buy there! Like, yeah, I could buy different types of clothing that would have different stuff on it that would, like, you know, be worth taking. I'm just gonna take the blood pop, by the way. Um, but it's not the same. I want this specific article of clothing because it's from a brand I want to support and also it looks cool. Like, I want that specific one, right? So, paying taxes on that, in my opinion, is stupid. <laughs> it- I- I don't see- but maybe that's just because I think taxes in general are a scam. Uh, anyway, that's besides the point. <laughs> the- the- the annoying part is, the shipment prices are always crazy high, right? Like, if you ever want to make ordering a- internationally worth it at all, you need to make a big order. If you just want to order like, oh look, there's like a cool little keychain. This is a cool looking keychain. Like a Terraria themed keychain. This is like the most recent example. I just looked at it because Terraria has like, they've got some new merchandise and we're like, oh, I love Terraria. I would oh look, there's got like a Zenith keychain. That thing looks kind of cool. Oh, it's only like 10 bucks. That's pretty cheap. It looks nice. Guess what? $20 shipping. I I'm sure it will be $20 no matter what. Uh, no matter how large you order. Uh, the problem is, I'm not interested in anything else. I just want, I, I, if anything, I would just want that keychain, but it's 20 bucks to get it shipped. So a $10 purchase turns into 35 or something like that. It's absurd. It is outrageous. I understand that international shipping is expensive, yada, 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 but like, they need to have more local retailers for shit like that, man. It's, it's insane. I don't want to pay like double the amount of what I'm buying just to get it shipped internationally. Like, that's absurd. <laughs> that's absolutely absurd obviously i'm going down because i can buy everything i do not care for the jar of wisps unfortunately uh for the jar of wisps i do not care for it although maybe i do care for it the the d7 is ah the d7 you know what you served me well but fuck it i'll take jar of wisps plus i got car battery which makes it actually like significantly better now that i think about it yeah okay sure let's go i keep forgetting i have a revelation by the way <laughs> happens a lot uh i should just charge it up because it probably does like a shit ton of damage it also looks amazing thanks to Play-Doh Cookie. It's actually- I'm so small thanks to Pluto, it's actually kind of tough sometimes to keep track of where exactly I am on the screen. I kind of have to be shooting constantly just to be able to like have a point of reference as to where I am. Because it's where the shots are coming from. <laughs> oh boy! Okay, well, so much for Jar of Wisps. I am deeply sorry, Jar of Wisps, but you have been pretty much instantaneously outclassed. You think I'm actually gonna send like 120 cents down the drain trying to play this whole thing? It's starting to look like it, doesn't it? 25% payout rate, by the way. Holy shit, man. What the fuck was that? I'll take this because can join, and then I'll reroll the other two. Boom! All right, they are garbage. Ew, what do we have? A gulp. That's exactly what I needed. I wanted a gulp on that trinket, so let's go. Please, I'll take the Shield of Tears. I will not take the Blood Puppy. I'm not fucking taking him! Really, some batteries. <laughs> some, some assault would be really cool here. Get it, battery, or still getting uh. I've made that joke already once. I'm sure people loved it when I made it the first time. Uh, or didn't even, like, understand it. And kind of hated it, honestly. And now I'm, like, trying to double down on it. Because I'm, I don't even know if... Like, this is the problem with the pre-production as well. I don't even know if the run where I set that has gone up. By the time this video goes up, I think that run went up, like, fucking a week ago. <laughs> like, maybe I can recycle the material like that, I guess. Wait, I just realized I have car battery. Oh god. I mean, I'm still gonna be happy to have the D6, but I just realized, like, oh god, my rerolls are actually gonna be kind of mid, huh? Like, I'm gonna reroll stuff, and then I'm gonna immediately reroll again, so I'm gonna just 
cycle through items twice as quickly, so there's a higher likelihood that I will get rid of something I wouldn't want to get rid of. But I guess it's a double-edged sword. It's not like I'm going to breakfast anytime soon, I think, so it's whatever. Roll this. Lucky foot is great. Should I have been looking for my secret room? Yeah, absolutely. Am I going to go back to look for it? Uh, next question, please. I have spent enough time. I am just going to go and enjoy life killing mom's heart. Very fast. Also, getting another angel deal. That's lovely. Well, it's a bit late for duality. And the other two do absolutely nothing for me. So, uh, unless you can drop me a battery, I am afraid I will not be able to reroll in here or get any use out of any of this. A damn shame indeed. Oh, uh, well, I guess I'll save my cash. If only I'd gone through that damn curse room. Why didn't I go in? I have extra HP. Dumbass. Dumb, dummy, 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 dummy. I'm sure there was combat in there. Uh, oh well. I'm sure I didn't miss out on too much. If you want to let me know, you've already seen the seed. If you want to let me know if I missed out on anything incredible down there, let me know, I guess. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm at the tears cap, so yeah, I'll just uh, go to town, I suppose. That's incredible. It's more tears down, but the, the damage to it, <laughs> the damage is getting kind of nasty. Yeah, I, I think I should just start using Revelation again because my fire rate is so terrible now, but the damage is so good. Oh, there's the boss. You know what? Yeah, take me to the fucking dark room, man. I, I'm done with your shenanigans. I already got like a pedestal. I got shards. It's like, who cares, man? I'm just gonna go down. I'm gonna kill this big motherfucker. Cut the damage. <laughs> damage kind of stupid. Oh yeah, I got shield of tears as well. Look at that. One revelation beam. Takes down Satan. Easy peasy as you like to see it. Beautifully done. You could do the funniest thing right now and give me like a brimstone. I'm just saying. Uh, well, it's conjoined. I'll take a succubus as well, obviously. Boom! Okay, I'll keep re-rolling. Crooked Penny is like the giga, the giga chat item to take, obviously, because <laughs> imagine if you doubled everything, right? But come on. I don't vibe with that. There's a chest. Let's go. Ugh, never mind. I can't take that. <laughs> I know I have explosion immunity. What am I worried about? I can absolutely take this. I have explosion immunity. I, I have host hat. I don't know what I'm worried about. Explosions literally do not harm me. Teleport again? I should have picked it up the first time around. That's my mistake. Do I- Why am I only getting actives? I was gonna say, do I have it in me to backtrack all the way just to get the- the two item reroll instead of the one single item reroll? Ah, sure. It's literally the better thing. It's just a darn shame <laughs> that it is exclusively rerolling into useless stuff that I don't care for. It's- it's all car battery, I'm telling you. Like, the first reroll every time has been like incredible, and then the car battery second time it, it procs the reroll, it like turns into the shitty items that I'm getting. I've rolled through all the good items. That's that's like what I'm just gonna like curse myself with that knowledge or something. Why is it only active items, bro? Every room! What the fuck is going on, dude? I need a damn no trinket or something. I mean at least it's not an active. At least it's a passive for once, but like Fucking hell, brother. I'll take it. I'm out explosion immunity at the end of the day. I'm really starting to doubt if I want to backtrack all the way just to reroll those two items and turn them into nothing worthwhile again. And at the same time, why wouldn't I? Oh, cool, conjoined, finally. Actually, I already had it, never mind. <laughs> forgot, completely forgot about that already. Aquarius is funny. It scales with your damage. So that's good enough by me. Another conjoined piece. <laughs> Man, come on. What the hell, bro? What's going on? Now I'm not getting actives anymore, I'm getting familiars. I mean, uh, cool, I guess, but I don't need them. I have no use for them. Nope. I got perfection? I mean, sure. I guess I haven't been hit for a while. Bit late, considering I got no more rooms to clear, no more room drops to get, no more chests to get, but hey, I guess it's the thought that counts. Use a strength card as well. Look at that, 40 damage. Beauty. Mmm. Explosions that don't harm me. <laughs> I am kind of happy I took Fire Mind. Because it's funny. Lighting the whole room up with fire. It's like literal fireworks. Absolutely beautiful. Let's just let my flies take some care of these guys and then get another beam in there. Would you look at that? Okay, this is like actually going really fast. Like I expected this to go to be easy. I didn't expect it to go like this fast as well. Like the damage output is tremendous. Keep an eye on Revelation, basically, and shoot it whenever it's ready. There you go. Yep, this is, uh, one of the Mega Satan fights of all time. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> and I get to do a Void as well. Good thing I held on to that D6, baby. 
Good thing I held on to it. Now I just gotta find my way through this hell. They are free to grab. Do I want the swarm? Nah, dude. Stapler's damage. I'm here to kill delirium and eat ass. And I'm all out of delirium. Wait, no, what? Let's uh, just kill this guy. This is probably gonna take a little bit longer because he's gonna move around a lot. He's not gonna be such a stationary target, which is what my run is really built against. But at the same time, I am doing a lot of damage to him the few times he does get hit. And as, as long as I cover just the entire room in fires, there will be no safe places left for him to hide. So eventually he will be forced to just die, which he's kind of doing right now. Okay, you stole my mental? How dare you? Oh no, my perfection! Leave me alone, dude. What the hell? It was like on my ass. Die. Oh my god. Die. Don't teleport on top of me. That's bullshit. Don't do this to me. What? <laughs> I don't even... Like, okay, apparently a bomb fly killed... Like, what? I don't, I don't even see him. Like, where was he? I don't even... Know. I mean, that's hilarious. Let's just get like, telefragged or something. That's... It's a lot of shit going on, right? Anyway, that was a fun run regardless. Delirium is just the encore. I'm not even mad about dying to him. It doesn't even count. So whatever. I've had a fun time. I hope you have had as well. And I will catch you again tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.